In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up key auth in C++. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go over to github.com slash key auth and make sure you download the C++ example. Click on code and then download zip. Once you have it, you can extract it wherever you want. I extracted it to my desktop. You open it and double click on example.sln and it will open up this now what you want to do is go to keyauth.com and get your name owner id and your secret so i'm going to choose my application going to get the name the secret and then get the owner ID and then you want to scroll down here to the bottom and you will see this sleep negative one um, it tells you this is to keep your application open for testing purposes it pauses your application forever and you can remove it when you want we're just going to remove it um, I'm just going to comment it out now you also have to come up here and if it's set on debug make sure it's set on release and then if you try to run it and you have an error um, saying that you need to run as admin come over here to properties click on linker manifest file and then set um, the UIC execution level as to as invoker and then bypass to no make sure you click apply and then click OK and then you can go ahead and you can press S, um, F5 and this will run it it will build and run it for you Give it some time. Connecting, and as you can see, the login, register, upgrade, and license key only appears. Now, if you want to change anything, say you only want to do like license only, then all you have to do is remove these. Remove case one, two, and three. So you're left with case four. You can remove the four. Make sure you put one. And then it will show license only. Now, if you when you want to run your own code, you will come right under here. So above where the sleep was or where the sleep is. And this will be the um, successful code to run so successful login so you will put your code here if it's a successful login um, besides for that that's um, pretty much it um, if you notice over here don't mess with anything over here um, the libs license and readme that's supposed to be like that um, you can remove the readme.md if you want to um, I suggest keeping the libs.zip and license definitely. Um, besides for that, that's it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to see anything else, just comment down below, and um, I'll try and make it.